Hi everybody, it's Gretchen and I am doing a Vlogmas challenge with Ecamm. And one of the challenges was to um, spruce up our profiles. And I was going through my scenes and I wanted to do some Christmas ones for my Zoom profile. And man, kind of by accident, I came across something that I hadn't tried before with a text overlay. And then I decided to expand it a little more. And I wanted to share with you what I did and what this amazing feature in our text overlays with Ecamm can do for a scene that's an image background or a video background or just about anything. So hang on to your boots because this is just fun. Okay, so I'm going to take you into the live demo mode. And the first thing I'm going to do is um, go to my Ecamm Assets folder and get this overlay, video overlay that I found in Canva. And I'm going, it's right here, Gingerbread Dance. I thought it was kind of cute. And I'm going to drag it over to my, um, to my overlays and I'm going to add an animated overlay right like that. All right. Now that I've got it there, I'm going to bring it up a little bit size and he's a cute, I, I liked it. It was going to be a fun thing for a be right back, uh, scene. So I have a little music to go with it, but I wanted it to say, be right back. And so I went to add a text overlay, a new dynamic text overlay. And I had B, oops, right back. Okay, so it said B right back, save it, and got it to the size I wanted it, but I didn't really like it right there. And I decided that I wanted it as a scrolling ticker. And so I changed it from dynamic to scrolling ticker. And I changed the background color to be, I think I had none. And background, I had none, I think. Yeah, maybe none. Did I have none? See how that goes. Okay, so I switched it to become a scrolling ticker. Now you'll see, I'm gonna make it a bit bigger. I wanted it a larger size, edit the text, and I want it bigger. So it was larger even, I think I, I, this stuff I was doing with it. Okay, so be right back. Okay, that was what was happening there. And I thought, okay, that's fine. Wonder if I can do a shadow or something. And. I came here to the scrolling ticker. I did that. And then background, none. And then as I was going down these things, I kind of tried blur, zoom, motion, pixelate, hex. I came to comic and I hit that. And oh my gosh, look at what it did. It, it changed the whole thing. And the video still played in the comic way. And I thought, oh, that's pretty cool. So I decided I would take it one step further. And what could I do if I take this back, I go stop there, and I go to edit text. And instead of necessarily a scrolling ticker, or it's saying be right back, I decided to change my text color all the way down to white. And I got rid of most of the letters, except I did need a period. I needed one or two letters. The text color is white. And I took off the shadow effect so that I had to save that. And now I had this bar that was. Uh, just a clear bar 
going by over my image and it could cover me too. So then I thought, I wonder what I could do with that. Instead of it being a strolling ticker, just be dynamic, take it and go over my whole scene. Can I do it over my whole scene? Put it over my whole scene as a text box and then see if I can get my gingerbread guy to play again. I'll bring him up above, get him to play. He's gonna loop, it's that. And then I could move him underneath there. I could move myself above the text if I wanted to, but I had this whole cartoon aspect to my scene now. And I thought, that's just fun. That's just fun. I can put myself in the scene of the cartoon if I want to, or I can take myself out of it. And then I wondered, all right, uh, gingerbread man, stop. I've got my background. Now I've just got a plain Christmas red background. I'm going to turn off my text. That's what I had there. What if I brought in just an image that I had? Could it work with that? And how would it work? Because I found one of my images from Africa and I wanted to see what would happen if I put that over that image. And so if I do that and it goes over, then I get that kind of um, cartoon look for that and the background too. So the background is going to get it, which is is fine for what I wanted here. And then I tried it again on another background I have, which is this background, which is another photograph that I have of an abalone shell. And I wanted to see how it work work with that. So I'll move it down below that and I get this. And then I thought, hold it. One more thing. What happens if I lower the opacity on it. And look at that. Look at the cool combination you can get with that. Now, what does it do if I move this guy up there too? Oh, and I can see what it's going to do on the different things. I can move myself underneath it and get a whole different kind of effect. But this is all from not this, not this, not this, not this. Take all that away. This is a text overlay. A text overlay that I can make smaller. Here, I'll make it smaller again. There it is. And I just covered the whole area with it got half and half me, half and half. It's a text overlay in which I put it on dynamic, made the background comic. The text has none, but when it comes to the edit the text, I made the um, text color white, and then I lowered the opacity on the text color completely. And I actually just like have one or two periods or characters in there that were needed to be able to have a text box and able to save it for me. So that's what I did with that to create this kind of crazy, fun idea of my dancing gingerbread man if he'll come back up and dance for us. I, I just love this. This is such a fun thing to do. So you can have it so it has a comic little ch whole change to your scene. And that's what I did. Well, that's it, you guys. Okay, this is my whole thing with this text overlay. Here's my little dancing gingerbread man. It's not going to be my be right back. I hope you enjoyed this a little bit of 
comic relief uh, with your scenes. This is my spoofing up or spiffing up of my <laughs> spoofing, spiffing up of my profiles and different scenes. And yeah, I know it's kind of extra stuff and maybe you don't need it. But, you know, for a be right back scene or something like that, something a little different, or if you just want a different kind of transition, this is going to be, for me, this is fun. This is the kind of things that fit with my channel, with my story and art. And, uh, yeah. And I like the way you can shift an image around <laughs> and just have some fun with it. Yes. I hope you got something out of this a little bit for Vlogmas 23. There's just so many things to do with Ecamm. That simple little bit of running through those choices that you had from the, the, the parts of the text overlay. What was it right there? It was in the background. What you could do that you could make it comic. And oh my goodness, it was too much fun. So everybody, until next time, keep looking for the beauty hidden in plain sight. It's all around you, but the first place you'll find it is when you go look in the mirror. And I'll see you next time.